Hi yogis, this is Cole Chance with Yoga TX and I'm going to lead you through a little routine that will help open up your neck, your side body, maybe get the spine moving, um, hips, a little bit of everything. It's really amazing if you do a little bit of yoga in the morning how much better your body moves throughout the day. So I invite you to join me and I'll just have you sit in a comfortable position um, cross-legged Sukhasana here. You can sit on a block or a blanket if that's more comfortable for you. So just go ahead and sit in a straight, start thinking about your spine and imagining your spine here. So maybe scoop back a little bit with your torso. We tend to come forward a lot. So scoot back a little bit. Maybe tuck your chin in slightly back. And roll your shoulder blades down and together. And just start to breathe. You're probably noticing your breath for the first time today. We're lucky we don't have to think about that. But start to notice it. Your inhales and your exhales. Find a comfortable, steady breath and try to maintain that through, throughout. So go ahead and clasp your hands together. We'll turn the palms out. On an exhale, round your back and press out. And then inhale, bring your hands up over your head. And come back down on the exhale. So you're rounding your spine here, tucking your chin towards your chest. And as you come up, raise your chin out of your chest. Push your shoulder, your chest through your shoulders. And reach up. And do that a couple times with your breath. This is another cat cow variation. Drop your hands to the side here. Let's take our right hand to the outside of your right hip. We'll take our left hand up and over. And look up under your left arm. And you want to keep your left hip on the ground here as well. So if it starts to come up, you can push away with this bottom hand. And get a good side body stretch here. See if you can spin. If you tend to be closed in a little bit, or coming forward, see if you can spin your torso up and around. So you're looking up under your arm. And go ahead and bring the left hand out to the side here. And let's reach out to the left wall and tilt your head to the right shoulder. You can play around with where you have your left arm, but just really be reaching out like somebody's pulling your hand. Really stretch the side of your left neck here. You can also turn your head a little bit and find that juicy spot. Come back to your breath. You can close your eyes here and just really Pay attention to the sensations and find that good stretch for you. Go ahead and drop that left hand and on an inhale we'll lift our right hand up and over and look up under your right arm. And again, you want to keep your right hip down so if you need to push away with the ground here, push away and look up. Spin your chest towards the sky and breathe. One more big inhale and exhale. We'll take a right hand out to the side, leaving your left hand on the ground. Tilt your left ear to your left shoulder. We'll do the same neck stretch on this side. 
turn your hand around as well. It'll change, change the sensation and depth of the stretch. So just find where you find that perfect spot. You're getting a good stretch. One more round of breath. back up to center. We'll inhale, hands lift, look up. And exhale, we'll twist to the left. So right hand, left knee. And spin your head around last. On an inhale, push up out of your hips. Lengthen. And exhale, twist. And one more time. Come out and lengthen. And twist. And the inhale will rise and twist to the right side. Inhale, expand. Exhale, twist. And one last time. Exhale. And come back around to center and plant your palms about two feet in front of you, and we'll come forward over your knees. And settle up so that your shoulders are right over your hands and your hips are over your knees. So we'll be in tabletop position. So you want the creases on top of your hand to be parallel with the top of the mat. So feel like where you get settled here. Press the tops of your feet into the floor and raise your, rise your chin up to the sky. Push, bring your chest through your shoulders. And inhale. Now push the ground away. And curve chin to chest. Inhale, lift. Bring your chest through. And exhale, drop your chin and tailbone. Come back to center. Let's take our right leg out to the side. Toes pointed forward here. We'll take a couple more cat cows just in this position. Start opening up the, the hip and thigh. So inhale, lift. And exhale. Come in. Again, lift. Exhale. We'll place your left hand underneath your gaze and we'll take the right hand up to the sky. And see how big you can expand. And a good twist here. And now we'll switch hands. So right hand where the left hand was and we'll twist open to the left. both of your hands and we'll switch sides. So bring the right leg in and we'll place the left leg out to the side here. Inhale, look up. And exhale, round and push the ground away. Plant the right hand underneath your gaze and open up to the left. Expand really wide here. Look up towards the sky. See if you can see the corner wall. We'll switch hands and open up to the right. Another round of breath. Plant your hands and bring your thigh back in. Let's separate our knees here. Leave your big toes to touch and your knees on the edges of your mat. Go ahead and come forward into child's pose. 
So crawl your fingers out as far as you can here. And sink your hips down to your feet. Now tint your hands up and start walking over to the left side. And push the ground away so that your hip is staying down. You don't want your hip coming up. So we're reaching out and pushing away. And drop your neck. Start walking your hands over to the right side. You should feel the stretch all the way down to your hip here. Push all the way up. Bring your hands by your feet, on the sides of your feet, and we're just gonna arch up. So arch your back, look up, chest forward, and drop your neck at the very end if it's comfortable. And go ahead and come back to center. And let's walk all the way down. Shift your hips forward. Your shoulders over your hands. Have your elbows squeezing towards each other here. Bring your belly in and slowly come all the way down to the ground. Good. Leave your hands where they are. And on an inhale, we're gonna lift up. Press your toes into the mat and have your gaze coming right a few inches in front of your mat. You don't wanna have your head cranked back. We're on a natural curve in your spine. See if you can release your glutes and use your back muscles here. One more breath. And release. Very good. And let's take our hands wide and we'll do that one more time. So on an inhale, lift. Press your toes into the mat. Have your gaze just a little bit in front of your mat. One more inhale and exhale. Wonderful. Put your hands right underneath your shoulders and we'll push back up and back into child's pose. And here you can have your, toe, your knees together or apart. It'll be a little bit different of a stretch. This is a little bit, we'll get more into your back. If your knees are separated, it'll get a little bit more into your hips. So take whichever and explore which one feels better to you. And start walking back up, sitting on your knees here. And let's sit over to the left side. So we're gonna have our legs to the right side. And we're gonna make a little triangle here. So your left foot on the top of your right thigh. So you'll have a little triangle right in front of you. We'll lift up and we'll twist to the left. Lift up out of your hips on an inhale, and again, twist a little bit farther on the exhale. One more time. And twist. Good. Bring your right leg straight out in front, and we'll move our left leg over a little bit. We'll pull this in to your right thigh. So with your toes engaged, shooting out, shining out through your heel, toes back towards you. Sit up tall, inhale, and fold over. And here you want to be coming towards your foot rather than da rounding down towards your knee. So think about a really long back. So you may just come to about right here where you want to be coming 
out of your hips rather than rounding over. Inhale, lift up, and exhale, fold. Inhale, up, and exhale. Look up and exhale, we'll twist to the right side. So left hand on the outside of your knee. Inhale and exhale, twist. Good. Come back around to center and bring your knee back. We're just going to go over to the other side. So come back up over your knees and shift your toes to the left side. And we'll sit our hips down on the right side. So move your right foot to your left, top of your thigh here. So we'll make a triangle in front of us with our left leg. Let's go ahead and inhale up. And exhale, twist to the right. leg out in front of us and flex that foot toes towards you bring your right foot in a little bit inhale lift grow tall and exhale fold forward I'll lengthen fold The stretch is great for your low back. Whichever side is bent, whichever knee is bent, it's isolating that QL muscle. In case you have some low back problem, both of these are both of these are go-to for sure. And let's lift up. Inhale and we'll twist to the left, so over our straight leg. Wonderful, come back to center. Come back around to our knees. So just bring that straight leg back around. And place our hands several feet out in front of us and we'll come back up onto knees and tuck your toes here we're gonna push back into downward dog so lift hips up towards the sky start setting your heels down spread your fingers really wide push the ground away here push your hips up towards the sky and then sink your heels towards the ground. Good. Let's lift our right leg up. Have your heel pointing out towards the back wall, your toes flex towards you. And we'll bring it all the way through into pigeon pose. So your right knee to your right hand. And this, your calf can be Anywhere from par coming parallel to the top of the mat will be more intensified or your toe back more in towards your left hip. So just find what's comfortable for you. You do want this knee not more towards the midline than your hip, just to protect your knee. So find where you're comfortable. Take a few breaths. Sitting up here. Kind of push the ground away. Inhale, lift and exhale, fold forward. So you can come, you can stay up on your hands, you can come down to your elbows, and you can also rest your forehead. So find what spot's comfortable for you today. Also, if you have a block, it's good. Sometimes I like to just rest my head on that. Good. 
Continue to breathe here. It's gonna be a really intense stretch, but see what you can let go of. There's really no muscle engagement here, but we tend to tighten up and try to protect, but just try to really release here. See what you're holding on to that you can let go of. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and push up. And that pose, pigeon pose, is good to stay in for a long time, so feel free to pause it. Tuck your left toes, push the ground away, we'll come back into downward dog. So you should see how your right leg is feeling a little bit looser and you can take circles with your knee, kind of loosen that up. Let's take the left leg up, toes pointing down and towards you, so flexed. And bring that leg, that left leg up, and your knee towards your left hand here. You'll definitely feel different on both sides. I already feel a lot looser on this side, so that's completely normal. Let's go ahead and get situated. You want your back toes pressing down into the ground. And your hips centered here. Take another breath, sitting up. Inhale and exhale, fold, and find your spot today. If your hip's coming up too much, it's good to put a pillow or a blanket or something right here so you're making some contact. So feel free um, to do that as well. If you don't love this pose right now, you'll learn to love it. And take as long as you want here. your hands and tuck your back toes under we'll push back into downward dog so again you can take hip circles here and get a couple a couple pops I'm getting a few and pedal out your feet let's bring our right foot forward in between your hands and drop your back knee so back toes Pointing down into the earth. Just start coming forward towards your right knee. You can kind of put weight in your left hand and weight in your right hand. We've already kind of woken up that hip, woken up that hip a little bit. This is really getting into your hip flexors as well. So now feel like you're squeezing your thighs together here and it'll bring you up a little bit higher and that's also squaring your hips so it's also the sensation of bringing your right hip back like if you took your thumb and pulled your right hip back and push your left hip forward that's really squaring your hips here so that's where you want to be so you can bring your hands to the top of your right knee here you can also bring them up if you'd like Take another inhale here. And then exhale, we're gonna plant our right hand. I'm just gonna reach up and over. So the same action of looking under your arm, you should feel a stretch from your middle finger all the way down to your hip flexors here. And again, spin your heart open towards the sky. 
And see if you can bring your belly in as well. Try to bring your belly in so you're not really laying over your hip. Another adjustment to think about. Now bring your left hand back down. Plant your hands, we'll push, a, push away with our front foot here. So we'll take this stretch, you can leave this knee bent as well. Just get into the hamstring. So again on the inhales, push up, lengthen your spine, and exhale, fold forward. One more time, inhale. And exhale, fold forward. Let's come back into your front thigh here. Plant your left hand, and let's take it wide off of your mat. And we'll take a twist. So sink low into your hips here. And then now let's think about, you can even take your thumb if you'd like to, pulling back that right hip. That'll bring your hips up a little bit and really get into your right hip and your IT band here. So twist, and in your twist, bring back that right hip. Let's see if you can twist a little bit more. Tuck your back toes and kick back into downward dog. Take one breath here. And exhale. And then he'll bring your left foot up between your hands and drop your right knee. So we're gonna bend into our left knee here. Really bring your hips towards the front. You can rock to the right side and the left side for a few seconds here and just kind of say hello. When you're ready, we'll scissor the hips, to get the thighs together. That'll bring you up. And also think about bringing your right hip forward and your left hip back this time. And bring your hands to your knees. You bring them up over your head. Really keeping that scissoring, it's keeping everything towards the midline. It's tightening your core, it's bringing everything together and keeping the balance more sustainable for you. And exhale, drop the left hand. We'll reach up and over to the left side. The whole side body stretch here. Spin your chest open to the sky. And just lean your head back. Good. Plant your right hand. Push away. And take this stretch over your left leg. And if this is hard on your knees, you can, you can flip your mat over. Always blanket for the knees. Just make sure that you're comfortable. Lengthen out of the spine and fold it forward. Like in this back side. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, forward. And even here, try to square your hips. I just noticed I was over to the right a little bit. We want to push that hip back in. You want to square, square your hips. There's always adjustments to be made. Come back forward. We'll take our right hand wide off of your mat and raise the left hand up to the sky. So again here, let's pull this left hip back and then sink. Left hip back and then sink forward. You can even lean back a slight back bend in your back here. And drop your head. More inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and place that left hand down. We'll take our back toes. One last down dog. Take a full round of breath. Inhale. And exhale. 
Go ahead and come down to your knees. Separate our hips wide, our knees wide this time. And come forward into child's pose. So our hips are more open. Sink your hips towards your heels. Thank you all for practicing today. And just, you know, 20 minutes, I'm not qu quite sure exactly how long this was, but just a little bit of awakening the body and opening things up a little bit. You'll be surprised how much better your body moves throughout the day. So yeah, I really invite you to try this, try this in the mornings for a few days and just see, see how much uh, more mobile and awake you feel. So thank you for practicing with me again and cold chants with Yoga TX. Thank you so much. Namaste.